So when we asked our team members how to make carry out more convenient, they had thoughts. Frisbee. That's a thought. Even better. Hey guys, so Domino's has actually had an open API for a while, which means that we can send messages programmatically to Domino's in the same way we would do that if we were just clicking buttons on the Domino's site. And that's great and all, but I'm not gonna bring a computer or terminal everywhere I go, and neither should you to execute a pizza script whenever we want pizza. But I will bring a phone everywhere. So today I'm going to show you guys how we can use a service called Twilio to execute code to order pizza after sending a text message to Domino's. Let's get to it. Sweet, so just to walk you all through the logic of the code, we're going to import our pizza API library, and then we're going to have some text message with our order, and then we're going to create some order pizza function and pass in that text message. So then the steps that we're going to need to do is first create a user, similar to how we do in the API with the name, email, location of the order, and then what we want. And then we'd want to decode the text in uh, the text message, uh, turn each item into its item ID. So for our 12 inch cheese pan pizza, we're going to have a certain item ID that we want to add to our order and then add our IDs to our order. So then our step three is that we're going to want to order the pizza. And then step four, we want to return a confirmation text back to our user and then tell them that it's been ordered and then when it's coming. So cool, I'm gonna write this up really quick and then I'll be right back. What's up guys, I just finished implementing all the steps. I actually added some stuff to the text message because I figured people wouldn't just want one item. So now you can order as many items as you want and we'll just loop over each item. But just to get into the steps, step one, I implemented with a credentials object and a credentials.py file that I just put all my relevant information in. And then the credentials object creates like my order object and my store object and stores that in that user variable. And then in my next step, I just have two helper functions. The first being a decode message function. So it takes, could I get a 12 inch pan pizza, marinara sauce, Coke, and a St. Jude donation. And it turns it into uh, a list with 12 inch pan pizza, marinara sauce, Coke, and St. Jude donation. And then uh, my next, a function is items to IDs. So it takes that items list and then it turns it into its item IDs so I can add that to my order. I add that to my order object and then in step three, I just uh, like pay with, here's the test function because I'm about to run a test uh, just with this code without the actual real life text message. And then from that result, I create a confirmation text that I then send back to the user so he can know that the uh, order went through successfully and like can get ready for the pizza to come. So just to run this, it's going to set, uh, tell me a message. So the price is 32.25. And then this right here, the thing that I returned um, is what is the text that the user is going to receive. So it's going to say, sup, Eric, you will receive a medium 12 inch handmade pan pizza, marinara sauce, uh, two liter Coke in 30 minutes of your house. Make sure to tip the driver and thanks for the St. Jude donation. Sweet, so now I'm going to show you guys how we can uh, create a script that can call this function when you send a text with Twilio. Sweet, so just go to twilio.com, sign up for an account, and then buy a phone number. You're gonna get like 15 free dollars, so don't worry, this isn't paid at all. If you want a few extra free dollars, you can use my referral code down below, but don't worry, I'm not gonna make any money off that either way, so it doesn't matter. So after you buy your phone number, just go to twilio.com slash docs slash SMS slash tutorials slash how to receive and reply Python. It's just as simple as copying this script going to your Visual Studio code, putting it in your app.py, and then running this um, on your port 5000. And then I'm going to use ngrok here to do port forwarding, which will allow me to make a public URL. Uh, my public URL is like here. Um, and then I'm going to put that HTTPS URL um, in my like webhook, um, like incoming text message uh, value in my console for the phone number that I purchased. And I'll put a ngrok tutorial down below. It's just 30 seconds to download, and then you just write like ngrok HTTP 5000, so you can port, uh, forward port 5000, so it's really simple. So now I'm just gonna send a text message to my number, which is 864-721-9072, and I'm just gonna send like, hello, to receive hi, and I do, sweet. So, like, this is just as simple as, like, now, like, adding my function and then putting my text message body into my function so I can execute it. So I'll show you this uh, in a sec. Good stuff. 
So now if we just want to put two and two together, we can change out the hey and hello to message, put into our order pizza function, and then return our message to our user. So if I typed in, could I get a medium cheese pan pizza Coke, marinara sauce, and a St. Jude donation. <clears throat> it would reply, make that order, and then bring it to the house. So, cool, I hope that made sense, guys. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. I'm not quite sure if this was five minutes, we'll find out. But um, I'll also be putting this code on my GitHub, so if this is helpful, give this video a like, and let's see what other cool things we can do with Twilio, sending text messages, and other cool APIs like the Domino's API. I'll catch you again, guys. Have a good one. Peace.